Welcome to the second lesson of Osoyu Servo Steer Smart Car for Raspberry Pi. In this tutorial, we will simply tell you how to install Raspberry Pi OS for the Raspberry Pi and how to use console to control Raspberry Pi. We'll use Osoyu Servo Steer Smart Car for Raspberry Pi to do some simple movements. Once the car installation is completed, it is very important to test the installation and sample code. If you have passed the test movement of this lesson, it means Raspberry Pi, motors, battery, model X board, servo motor and wire connections between these parts are all functioning well, and you can move on other sample lessons. You need to complete the frame of the car according to lesson 1 firstly. Step 1, Installation Raspberry Pi OS Prepare a new micro SD card, more than 8 GB, and insert it in USB micro SD card reader, and connect USB micro SD card reader with your PC. Download Raspberry Pi Imager from https colon slash slash www.raspberrypi.org slash software slash and then install this software. If the micro SD card is not new, please format the SD card firstly. Please open Raspberry Pi Imager, select Erase as Operating System, then select your micro SD card and then click Write. Open Raspberry Pi Imager, select Raspberry Pi OS, 32-bit, as Operating System. Then select your micro SD card and then click right to burn the OS in your micro SD card. Step 2, Using Console In the subsequent tutorials, the console will be used from time to time. Use console to interact with Raspbian OS by command line. Therefore, you may need to know how to access to Raspberry Pi's console. There are several ways to use the console only and they can be divided into mainly two ways, using directly and remotely. A. Using console directly. Connect Raspberry Pi to your monitor. Connect a keyboard and mouse into USB ports and insert SD card into the slot of your Raspberry Pi. Please click the LAN icon at the right upper corner. Sometimes when you click the LAN icon, you may get the notice that set Wi-Fi country of localization of Raspberry Pi configuration to enable Wi-Fi. Please click main menu and then click preferences, then click Raspberry Pi configuration. Please select localization and click set Wi-Fi country code. Please select your country, then click OK to enable Wi-Fi. Click the LAN icon again, and select your Wi-Fi SSID and enter the password to connect Wi-Fi hotspot. You can click LAN or Wi-Fi icon to get the IP address. Click the icon of terminal on the screen, then a terminal will pop up. You can also type in terminal command, hostname i to get the IP address. Please enable SSH by typing terminal command, sudo raspy config. Go to configuration menu, go to interface options, then SSH, then yes, then select, then finish to exit. Please use arrows on keyboard to position the cursor where you want to go and press enter to confirm the select. Be using console remotely. In this video, we just show the Windows users use SSH tool to control console remotely. 
insert micro SD card which is burned with Raspberry Pi OS in USB micro SD card reader, and connect USB micro SD card reader with your PC. Open this micro SD card in your computer. Create a text file and rename SSH under slash boot slash to enable SSH. Visit the link, osoyu.com slash picture slash repi underscore robot underscore car slash servo underscore steer underscore car slash lesson 2 slash wpa underscore supplicant dot conference and copy all lines. Create a new text file in your computer and open it via notepad plus plus and paste all lines of wpa underscore supplicant dot conference file. Replace the SSID and PSK with your own Wi-Fi SSID and password and save this file. Rename this file as the name of WPA underscore supplicant dot conference. Send the file WPA underscore supplicant dot conference from your PC to the micro SD card. Plug the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi and then power on the Raspberry Pi. Log in the Wi-Fi router and check the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Download PuTTY from www.kiark.greenend.org.uk slash tildeskdatum slash putty slash and install this exe in your Windows PC. Open PuTTY and click session on the left tree like structure. Enter the IP address you got into the text box under host name and 22 under port, then click open. When you first log in to the Raspberry Pi with the IP address, you'll be prompted with a security reminder. Just click Yes. When the PuTTY window prompts, log in as, type in the username, Pi, and password, Raspberry. When you're typing the password in, the window shows nothing just null, but your in fact is typing things in. So just focus on typing it right and press Enter. Step 3, Steering Servo Alignment Enable the I2C by running the command, sudo raspy config in the terminal window. Then select Interfacing Options, then I2C, then Yes, then Select, then Finish. Please run the command CD to enable the following commands running under home slash pi. Installed PO by running the command sudo apt-get install repi.po Install PCA9685PWM library by running the command sudo pip install adafruit PCA9685 Download the steering servo alignment program in your Raspberry Pi by running command J H T T P colon slash slash osoyu.com slash driver slash servo steer car slash servo dot pi. Run the steering servo alignment program by running command python servo dot pi. You have two methods to align the servo. Method 1, align the wheel direction manually. Turn off the car after running the command, python servo.py. Release the servo horn from servo motor. Realign the front wheel face to front and then install servo horn onto servo motor, and install M3 times 4 screws on the middle of the horn to fix the horn.
turn on the car, running command, Python servo.py and the wheel will face front. If not, please follow the last steps again. Method 2, Align the wheel direction via revise program. Install M3 times 4 screws on the middle of the horn to fix the horn. Run command in terminal, sudo nano servo.py and you can edit this file now. Move the cursor to line 20 via using arrow and keyboard and you can get the front value as 425. If your steering wheels tends to left, increase the value from 425 to 430, 435, 440, etc. If your steering wheels tends to right, decrease the value from 425 to 420, 415, 410, etc. Then click Ctrl plus X, and then Y to save this file and click Enter to exit it and run the command, Python servo.py again. Repeat these steps until your steering wheels finally faces to front, and write down this value to change the lesson to, 3, 4, 5, 6 code. Step 4, Basic Movement Power the car and put it on the ground. Download Basic Movement Program by running command jhttp colon slash slash osoyu.com slash driver slash servo steer car slash pi basic dot pi run this program by running command python pi basic dot pi the car will move forward then move backward and turn left then turn right then back to right then back to left finally stop <laughs>